Welcome to Fast Performance TV, I'm Claudio Encina. In today's little video series, I just want to share with you probably a story which is around perception of value. You see, when you are able to offer value to your marketplace, commission will no longer be an objection. Because when you get that objection, generally it's a lack of value or a lack of evidence of value that you're portraying to the customer. So the story that I wanna share with you is really quite simple, and it's about perception of value. See, a lot of agents that I work with, they work in an area, and we call it like a BDA, which is a business development area, or a farm, or a patch, you know, that, that you, or a core market that you look after, look at so many homes, like for example, 2,000 properties. But here's the thing, you see, I have one client in particular that has really taken about 50 to 60% market share in the last two years, only by creating value into their marketplace. And it was really so simple. You know, we've, we've heard of letterbox drops. Again, easy to do, but just as easy not to do. And one of the things about letterbox drops that I found from this agent was that they did it continually in their marketing plan, month in, month out. So for the next 12 months, they developed a marketing plan around their letterbox for the area. And over that time, here's the thing. You see, when you send a letterbox or a, or a letter or you send something visual, there's a visual impact when someone receives something from you in the letterbox. Now, you may think, oh, well, that's just you know junk mail that goes into the bin. The reality is it probably does. But if you do it enough times, people start to recognize your name. You see, most agents do it ad hoc. They do it once here, once there. And generally it happens when they've got no listings or no business at the moment, and they just flood the market and they go, oh, hey, that didn't work, let's try something different. But the agents who do it all the time, it's almost like the turtle in the hair. And if you remember the turtle in the hair, the turtle's just consistent every day with the race, right? The hair just runs up, stops, starts, stops, starts, but the turtle just keeps going. And here's the key. With that letterbox plan from this client, to develop that 50 to 60% market share, there was a visual impact. The second thing was, is they were consistent. And because you're consistent, it develops an element of trust. Even though they don't know you, they feel like they know you, if that sort of makes sense. But here's the key. The key is, if you do it enough times, people want to start to do business with you. And if they want to start to do business with you, it's because they feel like they know you. And that's where that perception of value came in for this client. In another story, just recently, as you know, we started this whole brand new year now in 2015. But I remember just at the end of last year, there was a lot of Christmas parties. And one client in particular does a client appreciation party. And for all their clients in the area that he has on his database, he only invites 80 people each year. Now, in his database, he's got over a thousand people. But I've got to tell you, out of those thousand people, 80 of them want to get onto his Christmas party. I'll tell you why, really, really simple. Everyone that turns up, they get a special gift each year. And look, there's hors d'oeuvres, champagne flowing, and you know, everyone's mingling. But from this, what he does is at the end of the night, he presents each of his clients with a gift. And one year, he presented his gift, or what should I say, this year, or last year, should I say, he presented this gift to his clients was a tip in his bag and for all the ladies. And if you're a lady out there, you would this would just like be a right fit for you. You just go like, yeah, I love Tiffany's, that blue bag. And if you think about Tiffany's, you think about the value they bring, right? There's a lot of perception in value in Tiffany's. You think of high price, but the reality is you can get things in Tiffany's for like 50 or $60, but it goes to a woman's heart, right? So he presented a little gift bag from Tiffany's in the blue bag, it's had Tiffany and Co written on it with a nice little bow, and he presented to each of his clients. Everyone walked away going, oh wow, that's amazing. And I think it was like some form of key ring or something that he gave each one of those clients. But here's the, the message is, you know what? Each one of those clients in the thousand that he has or more in his database want to get to his Christmas party every year and they're fighting to get in there. That's creating value. So think about what are the value that you're going to bring this year and into your business where people can see perception and value. One client letterbox drops, 50 to 60% market share. Another client really works that database that they have and brings them that value at the Christmas party. Imagine that. Tiffany's, I want to be on that list. Well, not me, probably my wife. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this little training session and story around perception of value. Remember, 
stay in control, stay focused, and always stay in action.